So one of the biggest topics in Counter-Strike right now, other than the whole SG debacle, will it get nerfed? Is it eternal? It seems to keep evading and somehow dodging all of these patches that Valve are throwing its way. It is the Neo of weapons, it would seem. And to answer the question that I have been asked a lot also, just before I get into the main course of this video, I think the best way of dealing with the SG is actually not to touch the weapon itself, but just to up the price. I'd be up for them maybe upping it by three to six hundred dollars, make it more of a risk, a more of a gamble to the terrorist economy. Don't allow these ridiculous buys to come in in the second round where you're effectively having two or three SGs purchased in the second round after the T's have lost, but they've got a bomb plant. For me, that is just far too oppressive for the CTs. So I think that would definitely sort a lot of the problems out. I've heard people talking about the fire rate, make it semi-automatic. It would be the only semi-auto rifle that we'd have in the game, which could be quite interesting. There's a lot of ideas out there, but I think first and foremost, I would personally like to just see the price upped. With the org getting nerfed, not out of the game, it still is very much a viable weapon, just nowhere near as much as before, and I'm completely on board with the idea of choice. It's great that we don't have CS, which is only AK or M4 in terms of rifles, and then if you're a bit broke, maybe you drop down to a FAMAS or a Galil. Well, that's pretty rare these days because you have SMGs and pistols. But I'm down for more choice. I just hope they don't nerf the SG into oblivion and go overboard, which is why I'd like to see them maybe just toy with the price before they do start nerfing the gun itself. But the main reason why I wanted to make this video is about the map pool. With cash coming around the corner, I'd expect that the SG patch and also cash coming back into the map pool will be before the end of the year, would be my guess. The question remains, what map is going out in its place? I've heard some people say that they wouldn't be against the idea of maybe increasing the amount of maps in the pool, but of course, that is just going to skew with the picks and bans, but additionally, it's going to mean the teams and the players have to learn even more maps. Now, I'm not completely against the idea if someone can come forward and have a, a solid way of getting around some of these issues, especially with the picks and bans, but my, my gut instinct is that I think CS is just fine as it is with the seven competitive maps and then you're starting to dip into more peripheral maps that are potentials for the future. I think that's really where CS is going to continue to shine. It doesn't need a change in that respect. So I am completely on board, and plus I think this is the most likely outcome that we will see one map replaced by cash. And with it already being in face it, and with some changes to FPS and a few other things already coming into play, I think it's only a matter of time before cash does grace us with its presence. And I say that because I think it's phenomenal. I had no problem with cash in the first place. I was quite sad when it was removed. I didn't think it needed to be removed, but I think this iteration is definitely an improvement. So I cannot wait to see the pros play this at LANs. It's going to be a really tantalizing prospect. Now, my choice for what I'd like to see removed actually isn't the same for what I think will be removed. And what I'd like to see removed, I know is going to be an unpopular pick, but I'll get back to that in a moment. I think the most likely map to be removed is probably Mirage. I know people want Vertigo removed. I personally have no problem with the map. It's not on par with the likes of Overpass or Inferno, definitely not. And there are still problems. But the fact is that Valve has put so much time and effort into making Vertigo competitively viable. I don't see them just pulling the plug straight away and putting it out of the map pool again. I think the most likely is Mirage because it's gone the longest without too many touch-ups. I think it will likely be Mirage because the map, although I do still quite like it, especially to commentate and watch, I'm not a massive fan of playing it myself, but I think it, it could do with a little bit of an overhaul. And this is something that maybe Valve will be looking into. But priority-wise, I'd be fine with Mirage not being the next map to go out of the pool, but the one after. I wouldn't mind that at all because I'd much rather see Dust 2 go the way of the Dodo at least momentarily, I'm not talking about extinct full on, but at least out of the pool for an actual rework. Now, I don't think this is going to happen because the same reasons of Vertigo. Dust 2 was removed not that long ago in the context of Counter-Strike for that, I don't even want to call it a rework because it really wasn't the, the paint job, the reskin that was given, barely anything changed, only a few negligible differences could be noticed and by and large, the map stayed the same. Now, my issue with Dust 2, even though I love Counter-Strike and I'm going to 
probably for the rest of my life if it continues to have different iterations. There's just nothing that comes close to CS in terms of an eSport, in terms of a game that I love playing. I always come back to it, even if I take breaks, even if I'm down on it and irritated and pissed off, I always come back to Counter-Strike. But Dust 2 is just an incredibly stale map for me to watch, play, commentate, or just do anything with. I find it so very tiring now, and I know I'm not alone on that. I know this is an unpopular opinion because people are still very much on the Dust 2 hype train, and I get that. It is a classic, it is a centerpiece of the CS franchise. I completely understand why some people do like Dust 2, but I just simply cannot stand it anymore. And I hope it does get removed. And this time, not just for a new look of paint, but for an actual rework. It doesn't have to drastically change. I just like some different, interesting, spicy additions to the, the map. You know, similar to how Cash came through. It doesn't have to be reinventing the wheel. Just maybe putting a bit of a, a spit shine on it, you know, and just giving it something fresh and invigorating to enjoy and devour. But at that point either, I was never at the stage with Cash as I am with Dust2 now. As I said, when it was removed, I still liked the map. I still wanted to see the map in competitive play. Whereas Dust2 now, if it got removed, I would be so happy. I have no big problem with Mirage. I think it does need a little bit more spicing up. But overall, I think the map's just fine. Dust2 though is a real snooze fest. And I hope it does get removed for Cash. And I cannot wait to see what Cash has in offer for Counter-Strike. Cheers for listening, guys. Start a, a discussion below. Give me your thoughts, your feelings on which map you'd like to see removed and where you come down on the whole cash in minus question mark out. See you in the next video. Take care of yourselves.